So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor, Bar Stool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. Um, I'll probably go back to Red Dead Redemption at some point. I do have a lot of Skyrim stuff to put together. And, well, let's just say Skyrim is a little more um, quickly paced, if that makes sense compared to Red Dead Redemption. I mean, there's more dungeons and other stuff you can crawl through where Red Dead Redemption, you kind of have to follow. It's a more linear video game. And, well, I promised or said that I would do a potion video. Alchemy, any form of crafting, is a good way to quickly boost a character up. And crafting potions, one of the easiest things. You don't have to add perk points or anything to the alchemy tree, but the higher you go, the more your character will, you know, improve. And poisons and other things are very valuable to use. Tip your arrow with some poison, a slow potion, and you drop the attacker, their speed to 50% for a certain length of time. Uh, paralysis poison, again, works well. And then there are other potions you can craft to simply sell to another apothecary or a business owner. And this is a good way to raise money. So let's get into crafting some potions. The best way to craft potions is to go to a place where there's an apothecary and use their alchemy table. Now, you got to gather up lots of ingredients in order for this to be effective. And I mean lots of ingredients, like 30, 40 uh, parts of ingredients. Now, let's look at ingredients. Look at all of the ingredients I have. Now, Briarheart and other things, they go for poisons. But I'm going to make a real powerful poison. Creep Cluster, Giant Toe and wheat. Fortify carry weight on top of decreases target stamina. Yeah, that is a very expensive potion. Again, it's, I don't, okay, where is it? Creek cluster, giant toe, and wheat. Now damage magic regen is another powerful potion. And look at all the ingredients you can use. Bear claws, blue butterfly wings, blue mountain flowers, those are all over. Chicken eggs, spider eggs, you name it. They all make powerful potions. So you start with your largest set of ingredients and your smaller set. And you create damage magic regen. And you just keep banging out these potions. Again, you've gathered up a lot of ingredients. Oh, Fortify Conjuring is another benefit. But you gather up all these ingredients, and you keep banging out these potions. And the more powerful and expensive the potion, the higher your level rises. And you don't have to put perk points down. This just increases your skill level at Alchemy and your player's skill level. Hanging Moss and nightshade. I mean, all this stuff is very common ingredients found walking around and in, in dungeons. And you just keep gathering all these ingredients. And, you know, it, it's easy. Now, Briarheart and I'm going to use Swamp Fungal Pod. Why? Paralysis. Right there. Another powerful potion you can use against enemies. Paralysis. Look at this. I can make a 
14, 19 paralysis potions. Oh, and it restores health. Mm, no. You want the paralysis part. And that's sometimes what happens is you just want pure paralysis. Now, I'm going to make a slow potion here. Oh, look at how many I can make. Now, again, you keep banging these potions out. 202 value raises your alchemy skill. I mean, if you look at the beginning of the video, where I started and where I'm going, I'll get up to 50 by the time I'm done with this video. And that's just crafting potions. I mean, I raised my alchemy four or five levels. That means I probably can raise my character level as well. And again, once you've made all these potions from free ingredients you have found walking around and gathered up, I mean, invisibility is a powerful potion. And, oh, wait, damage magic. Charis eggs, Nimrut, stuff like this you can find all over the place. Or if you want to invest money, my character level just went up to 26, and the alchemy level is approaching 50. Come on, look at this, folks. This is why alchemy is something that you can use to raise your character up. All these ingredients are free. You can gather them everywhere. Creep cluster, wheat, whatever. You can buy them even and buy them in large quantities. Now I'm going to trade with Arcadia and let's see what she has. I'm going to buy potions that I need like healing potions and cure disease. And then I'm going to turn around and sell many of the potions I made. And right now, I'm going to buy ingredients from her. Um, fortify smithing, good when you do smithing. If you're in doing smithing, you can make better armor. And all these I'm buying. River Betty is another one I'm buying. But why? It's actually has to do with the type of potion it works for. I haven't picked them up much, but, you know, sometimes some of these ingredients are going to be expensive, but they make better potions, more powerful potions, like void salts. Nah, wheat, yeah, I'm going to buy. Now that I've bought from Arcadia, what I'm going to do is go to sell her what I don't need. And look at that. I can sell her seven potions, and now I got 700 gold. And I can deplete her of money by selling her potions that I really don't care. Paralysis, great. Target is paralyzed for five seconds. I don't want to restore their health and paralyze them, so I'm going to get rid of these potions. and. Again, I'm going to walk over to the um, shop owner and sell him stuff. And you can buy magical um, enhanced objects from him to disenchant and sell him a bunch of potions and get your money back. You know, you, again, these potions are ones that you craft out of ingredients you gather. Now, again, alchemy is the best skill in the fact that free ingredients, cheap ingredients, you make a bunch of potions and you sell them. Now, Bellathor here, you can go to him and you can buy, uh, uh, again, magical enhanced weapons if he has them or apparel. and. Right there, Necklace of Eminent Alchemy. That will raise the power of my potions up. Necklace of Recuperation. All these different things you can buy. And I'm just going to buy the Alchemy Necklace. And now I'm going to turn around and buy potions I need, like healing. I always have healing potions. Lots of them. And if you're a warrior, yeah. 
soul gems if you need soul gems i'm gonna buy some stuff now i'm gonna sell them all these potions that i don't need like the damage magic regen frostbite venom right there fourteen hundred dollars i sell them these other potions and i can basically these paralysis potions sell them all or reduce it and He's down to 26. I bought a necklace and I sold him a bunch of potions. Isn't that awesome? And I'm going to see, no, um, I'm not going to buy anything else from him. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything, but I'm looking. And like I said, you can buy enhanced things from him, disenchant them. I bought a robe that I'm going to disenchant. I'm going to sell him all these potions off. I don't want to sell him the slow potions. I'll sell him the, the lesser slow potions. And I'm just going to sell him invisibility potions, the fortify health potions. Again, reduce the money he has with invisibility potions. Hey, and I got all my money back. And now what I'm going to do is sell him the cheap stuff. And I'm done. I need that draw to strength. Got soul gems, ingredients, nah, stuff that I can sell him. I'm done. Now what I'm going to do is walk out, go up to Dragon Reach, and disenchant some stuff or sell it back to Falkyrie. But that is where I'm heading. I might cut the video short here because I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the like button. If you like these types of videos, I put four out a week and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I thank all those people who are subscribing. And all those other people who are liking, leaving comments. I love le when people make comments as long as they're good comments. And I appreciate your my watching my channel. Thanks for stopping by.